happen like that? Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak Serious Jones. Serious Jones, let's get right to it, you know. I did what I had to live. Serious about that action. I ain't no verb. I'm an adjective. I invented Showtime. I invented Showtime. Stop playing for years and have them scared of blood like magic did. Like I brag about this life I had to live. Serious about action. I ain't no verb. I'm an adjective. I invented Showtime. I'm so sick, I stopped playing with niggas. I'm if it's taking too long to lock up, then bring it back. You were short anyway, so bring a stack. That shit was fucked up. I wouldn't even know. I ain't even have to open up a whole thing since 94. We ain't tripping. We'll swap it out. And if it's still in the wraps, we could swap it out. We could swap it out if it's still in the wrap. But, uh, so... You went on your media tour, talking to anyone with a camera, that you got robbed in Ultimate Madness. You had people doing recaps, re-recaps, recapping the recap, the bar over the bar, the bar, 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 right? So, you said that you got robbed, you felt like you won the second or the third, and that the judges was all messed up, but fam, you recycled. Not only did you recycle, you recycled horribly. You used bars out of a phone? Like, literally rapping to the dude with the bars out of the phone? Like, out of the phone? Like, when did we start? When, 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 when you start rapping like that? When we start doing that? When we start rapping out of the phone? Like, the bars out of the phone? Are you... I don't want to do this today. I really don't want to do this today. And... The reason why this is blog worthy is because I did a recap of the battle. I re-recapped the battle saying that Sirius Jones get seriously robbed. Well, I was really watching the battle more than once. They got apps for that. You know that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't waiting. They be dropping all these random shits during the week. I'm not. I, I'm sorry. I can't get jiggy with Big T versus Bill Collector. Big T. You nigga. I, I paid $8 for this app. Big T versus Bill Collector. Come on, son. Y'all got something better in the stash than that. Y'all playing. That's another story. Big T versus Bill. The disrespect, fam. Y'all think this is mad disrespectful, son. But anyway, um, so I rewatched Sirius Jones versus Rum Nitty more than once to see if I was bucking. Then a clip comes out today that shows you using bars from other, see I know, I know you ain't been around for a little while and I know y'all be from different eras, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days, I take y'all back in the days, these cats used to have like 16 raps and they'll go to every single hood, dot on his head, dot on his leg, dot, 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 they used to do that. That, that, that was the thing, cause it was really no internet, it was really none of that. But now, the game has changed so much and I promise you, if you recycle in a battle, it will be found. There are people who go through every single one of your battles looking for you to recycle just so they can expose it, tell people about it. And if you're recycling for 100,000, fam, like, that's 100 bands on the line. And you're recycling? Like, bro, what are we doing here? And I, and I like I said, I, I only seen... I think it was like the 15 minutes of fame or hip hop is real or whatever. I seen one of them interviews and you was going ballistic about the, the situation, about how these bloggers shouldn't be the judges. And you had Murder Mook who, um, you know, he was on his podcast caping for that white woman jumping out the window for you saying white people shouldn't judge battle rap. White N words shouldn't be able to judge battle rap and that you won SMD 3 0. Y'all are D S O. Hey, he was. Saying enough stuff that he could have got his damn account shut down. Going out the window for you. But you recycled. You recycled. In a battle where you literally was reading the bars off your phone. Of course you had three rounds. Dog, you, you spit them bars in 2019. You should have definitely been able to get through them. You probably didn't have to do no prep or nothing. It's 
It's not gonna work like that. Um, I respected your first two rounds. I respectfully had to battle one one going into the third, but with this now, the judges got it right. You did not win the third. I'm sorry. You cannot win the third round of a battle if you recycle that many bars. That whole a, a verb, I'm an adjective, and all of that. Dog, you said that already. You said that already. People found it and put it out. You know? Rumney's gonna move on. He was gonna move on anyway, but it's just a simple fact that you 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 did it. You recycled the bars. You spit them things already. People already heard them. You can't. It don't matter who it is. You see how people be going crazy. Every time a battle rapper gets caught up in some recycling shit, it comes out and people are gonna expose it. You see all the stuff that that twerk going through right now. That people like like he's they he's using the same intro or the same bars and battle after battle, bro. Nobody's gonna 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 jock that because. When it comes to these battles, a lot of the time people are paying to see them. Except for on caffeine, because you know caffeine is free. But when pay-per-view is out and people are paying and people are fans of a sport, they ain't not paying or they're not coming to see you do the same thing. This ain't the Harlem Hall Globetrotters. Basketball <laughs> battle rappers are starting to think this shit is the Harlem Globetrotters, where they can just use the same tricks in every single battle, and that's just going to be the end of it. And you got MCs out there who don't recycle and battle very often. Gichi Gotti battled against in the tournament, then turned around, jumped on a plane, and battled the next day in, um, I think it was Atlanta, on Gates of the Garden, and did not recycle. The very next day, 24 hours later, he battled the next day. Danny Myers battles all the time and does not recycle because you know what? They're true to the game. They, 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 they have integrity with the sport. You cannot use the same bars. This is not 2001. This is not 1999. This is not the Fight Club. This is not them eras where you could see a battle MC using the same rhymes over and over and over. No. If it's part of like a slogan or something like that, you know what I'm saying? There's body bags after every battle. Make sure that you find one. But do not jump in that bitch yet. It's only round one. That's a slogan. The difference between a slogan like Swamp, I am the same Nick. I am on the internet, that's a slogan. Geechee got to use a bitch, that's a slogan. It's a difference. Using bars is a definitive set of rhymes that you're using as a set of your bars. That ain't no slogan. <laughs> well, and the fact that you had your arm on homie's, your arm on homie's shoulder, reading them joints out your phone, Made it look even crazy. You look crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You look kind of crazy in that in that scenario. Um, if you don't know, it's all on Twitter. You can go on Twitter, and it's not even just like a blogger is talking about it. You got battle rappers, like battle, like a lot of battle rappers. Suge responded to it. Av responded to it. A lot of other people is like, yo, you can't. And these are battle rappers, top tier dudes. Not no low, 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 low tier dudes. You know what I'm saying? And then you got, you know, media bloggers, top tier dudes. That's responding to this. Like, bro, you can't, this can't, this can't be uh, happening like that. I would consider myself top tier. You know, I was top tier when I got here, but I would consider myself top tier in media, you know, with the views and the, the platform and things. And if it makes it to my desk that you've recycled, I don't think we really have a choice but to um, talk about it. And it happens with everybody. You're not the first. You're not the first. You're not the last that we're going to talk about with this recycling thing. And I hope it ends. Um, I'll just throw this in here. If you made it this far, salute to you. I watched that Prep versus Swave again because this is weird. This is addressing another robbery. Prep, a robbery allegedly. They play saying Swave got robbed. Um, I had to battle 1 0 for Prep. The only round was really the third round. Both of their first and second rounds kind of washed out. Prep can't use that same shit versus Casey J. She's going to need more. She's going to need more than what she had versus Twerk. But Twerk was talking all through her rounds and fucked up the battle any goddamn way. So I think that she'll be better. But um, no disrespect to anybody. Uh, Prep first and second just wasn't that good. Um, it was only okay. you know. And, I, and the funny thing is, I tweeted to Prep, let me hear your third round. I heard his third round before the battle, and I thought it was, I was like, yo, this is fire. Prep will tell you, I thought it was fire. I thought all three of them things was like that. I wish I would have asked him to hear the second or the first, because I would have told that nigga, nah, son, that's not going to be it, sir. I'm sorry, that's not going to cut it. So I blame myself 
for asking Prep to hear the third round because he let me hear the third round and I'm thinking, oh, he in his bag. That 15 minutes of fame equals one moment of silence. I'm like, oh, okay, that's gonna be in the bag. I heard the first two rounds. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Why are we? I was like, bro, what you doing here? What you doing? You should recycle. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Don't recycle, don't recycle. But, um, Swave had the bully moves. He was all on this grill. But nothing was memorable. You need a hundred thousand bars, big stage bars. Like you need memorable, memorable shit. The most memorable things I took from that whole weekend was Swamp. I done bagged up more dimes than Kevin Samuels. Fire. Jack Boy, I pour a little gas. I'm etching it, sketching it, stretching it, stretching it. I pour a little gas on the bear and I'm revving it. That's the type of shit. That's big stage bars right there. That's big stage bars. That's hundred thousand dollar bars right there. That Geechee, I don't care if you from 63rd, duck this. That's big stage bars right there. Not that little filler shit. Y'all be, be putting too much cut on the work, man. Y'all stepping on the work. Step y'all shit up. Y'all got two weeks to get it together. Y'all adding too much cut to the work, and it ain't working. Y'all got to get, nah, son, we not doing that. Take that, put that shit in rice. Whatever y'all did, mm -mm. nah, son, nah, nah, nah. We not doing that. So, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. I got two more joints coming today. Um, you know, I, I don't want to just um, randomly blog about shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. We got two more blogs that we dropping today, me and my man Showtime SP. We're going to keep this thing going. I appreciate every single one of y'all who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. You dig? Um, we just continuing the grind, continuing the work, and um, it is what it is. I hope everybody's doing good out there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a word to y'all. Um, as far as with yourself... And with your families and things like that, like you really, really got to focus on your mental health. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot going on in this world right now. People are having stress. People are having, you know, jobs and all this other stuff. Bro, use your PTO wisely because if you die tomorrow, that job is just gonna hire somebody else to take your spot. It is what it is. Don't feel bad about taking care of yourself and also take care of your family too. You know what I'm saying? But um. You definitely got to be wise out here. You know, there's nothing going on with me. I'm personally retiring from my job. I got another couple months left and I'm out the door because I want to work for myself. You know what I'm saying? But um, they're going to pay me for the work I put in. But I'm just saying I am retiring. But um, I just want y'all to focus on your mental health because as black people, we don't talk enough about getting counseling, going to therapy and just, you know, dealing with a lot of the things that we've had to deal with in our youth growing up you know what i'm saying whether it's the environment you grew up in the household you grew up in but uh other than that man salute to every single one of y'all out there keep this thing going yo jokes no more reading off the phone my guy okay i'm gone